Kay looking for the right number to call for a road win. So he calls Matt Sundin. Would unlucky 13 be good luck? You bet. Your critical decision finds a wide open Sundin on the left pipe. Sundin's backhander beats Peter Sidorkovich. Lebu ties the game at two. French just, I, I, I go crazy when I speak French. Second period, game tied at three. Kamensky gets stuffed by Sidorkovich, but Sundin sneaks it by him. Nordique still lead four to three and never looks back. Owen Nolan gets rejected, but Sundin gathers the puck in, puts it under his own teammate. Six to three, and the Whaler fans, well, there are some fans. That's the news. Still second period. Sundin works the give and go with Nolan to be Kay Whitmore. And then Nolan's backhand pass splits to Whalers. Sundin records a club record fifth goal in this game. And beating the old record of Peter Stastny and, and the last pretty good company. The Nordiques win it 10 to 4. And uh, the last road win was March 10th a year ago uh, in Hartford. You could just see this coming. You knew if the Nordiques were going to get one, they'd get this one. Where Quebec coach Pierre Paget said, Thank you. Second period tied at three. Matt Sundin picks up the loose puck. Stuffs it in from a bad angle on the short side. Breaking the tie. Jim Roberts says this one's slipping away, fellas. Late in the second. 6-3 North. Sundin 2-on-1 with Olin Nolan, Nolan. Who makes a great pass. And Sundin puts it in a wide open net. 7-3 Quebec. They're not going to blow this one now. Third period, it's 9-4, and it's Nolan and Sundin working, weaving some more magic. That's it, going to the net without the puck and being there for the receiving pass. The Nordiques score 10 goals, the most they've scored in seven and a half years. But more importantly, the road to futility is over for now. After 361 days, not a single point away from home, Quebec finally strikes terror into the hearts of somebody. But it's hardly caused a pop champagne over for a Quebec team that's won just twice in its last 18.